Welcome back to the Coach Shinnick Show. We're actually in Coach's office right now as we do a little film session. Uh, I, I know it was a, a tough one this weekend, but what are we going to be looking at here? You got to take a look at two different plays. First off, uh, you know we, we used a lot of different quarterback combinations, a lot of different packages. So the first play is Antoine Griffin playing quarterback in our tribe package. And really one of the things we wanted to do with Antoine is get him on the edge a little bit and then give him an opportunity to use his quickness. Offensive line is really blocking outside zone and I think one of the key blocks that you see here is watch Chris Schwartz right here, okay? Chris, we practiced this all week long, a bunch of different looks. Chris is supposed to get the first thing that shows. Typically he had been blocking that safety there, but he sees 47 show and now he's able to make that uh, block and really Antoine's able to get up and get you know a nice nine yard game mm -hmm. for us. So really we got out of it what we wanted and then later on we set up the, uh, the pass out of it, had Quentin wide open, just couldn't convert on it. So that was part of the tribe package, really felt good about what we were able to get done. Yeah, what about uh, this next clip? Next clip is, you know, I mean, just kind of a milestone for Nick Bells here. First career touchdown pass. It's a third and six situation. Uh, we really give him a couple options. Uh, if he likes the matchup in the boundary, he can take it. But then he also has a matchup to the field uh, that really he's going to eyeball here. And you see him taking a look at Ish one-on-one. -on -one. This is a route combination that we've run a lot of. Ish does a great job getting a fantastic release. And then Nick just throws a really nice ball. We actually get pass interference because you can see the defender mm -hmm. get to Ish early. And, uh, you know, part of this one, we'll take a look at the end zone copy like we did last time. Part of this one is just, you know, that's a great get off by Nick. Great timing. You're going to see number 78 here. Glenn Bethel bump number seven just a little bit, or this could have had a different result. And I think, you know, you see a touchdown, you go, oh, man, that's a great throw like we looked at last week. But that's really great feet and great timing for Nick in order to get the touchdown pass. Again, his first career touchdown. Uh, obviously, that got us back into the game being down seven. Now we were or we were down 14. Now we're down seven. Felt like we had momentum at that time and felt like we had a good opportunity to keep playing well. When you talk about reads, I know we talk about that a lot. What's the read on a play like this? Well, he's really got two. Does he like the boundary? Uh, if you go back to this pre-snap, does he like the boundary one-on-one -on -one or does he like the field one-on-one? -on -one? He's kind of looking to see which way the safety's rolling. The safety's going to roll towards the middle of the field. He's at a depth where he really doesn't affect either one. This route right here is probably the one uh, that we've thrown a little more, and that's why he decided to go to the field. Not a lot of time, too, because he's got some pressure coming. He does, and you've got to be very quick in the decision-making. And the thing I like about this is Nick makes this at about the 10-yard mark you know, for the wide receiver, but look where he throws the ball. He throws it another 25 you know, or 15, 20 yards downfield. Really great timing, doesn't run him out of the end zone, gives him a ball that's catchable. And again, Ish is able to catch the ball while being interfered with. We get a touchdown, we get back in the game. How impressive is that in a situation like this where you're looking at a quarterback that hasn't spent a lot of time with this group of receivers? Yeah, you know, and he gets a lot of practice in, um, you, you know, he gets a lot of practice in practice, and he's been working his way through that. Really, he's been the number two quarterback since Sam uh, went down. And, uh, you know, this was, I think, a great first half for him to come in to play the way he did, to keep us in the ball game and put us where we needed to be. Talk about some of the other things you liked in that game. You talked about using four different quarterbacks. How did you feel that worked out? Well, I felt what they did was very good and very effective. Uh, we had two bad snaps from our center that uh, really affected two of those plays. We mm -hmm. turned the ball over in the red zone where I felt like we had great momentum, and then we gave up uh, a snap on Tuan where we lost 11 yards. So, uh, you know, people look at that and go, oh, mixed results on what was happening. But that was our center. That wasn't those guys. That wasn't on the quarterback. Uh, they were bad snaps, and they were hard to get a hold of. Um, we were able to get the yardage that I hoped to get out when Gray was in. Uh, we used Gray kind of in an empty um, set uh, with him and another back, and then we used Gray you know, as a regular quarterback. And so I liked what we were able to get done and the productivity that we saw out of those packages. Overall, with the quarterback situation, what it was, a success? 
Uh, well, obviously it wasn't a success because we couldn't score enough points to win the game. Sure. Uh, and we turned the ball over uh, four times on offense, and that's you know that's the frustrating aspect of uh, the game. Our defense did a phenomenal job creating turnovers. We just weren't able to get enough uh, momentum on offense to score when we needed to. Where did you feel things really turned? Well, I felt like we had an opportunity there um, when we scored and went up. Uh, we had a miscommunication on what type of uh, kick that we were looking for. We kicked the ball to the um, 40. We were supposed to kick the ball a little deeper than that. Um, that wasn't supposed to be an onside, but we wanted something different. Um, I felt like that kind of changed it a little bit. We had opportunities. You know, you know, you can say it come down to a couple of plays. Mm -hmm. I think if Antoine connects with uh, Quentin uh, on the uh, on the pass, uh, I think it's a whole different ball game. Uh, but you know, beginning of the game also, uh, we missed a field goal, which we've been a very very um, you know iffy in that situation the last four games. Uh, we missed a field goal early. We fumbled the ball in the red zone, one that I just mentioned. You know, that could be a six-point swing right, right there as well. Uh, we were in the game, though, fourth quarter. I think those plays that I mentioned really kind of changed it a little bit. When you look at the kicking game right now, how do you get that turned around? I feel like right now it's just mental ability still there. Well, the ability's there and the, you know, the foot speed's there and, and the connection's there. Uh, we're just not doing what we need to do.